tonight welcome singer-songwriter Ted Spencer. Yeah! <laughs> We wear our heart on our sleeves around on this show, and uh, everybody shares with our live audience a lot of their uh, pain and sometimes great things and bad things. That t and because sometimes I think it helps those out there that are watching us that uh, may have the same troubles in their life. You wrote that song over the loss of your son, didn't you? Yes, sir. 
I want, I want you to talk in this microphone real close because I want to get some information about you. In addition to that song, and I don't want to dwell on that too much because that takes a big man to sing a song. Thank you. I appreciate it. Also a great, also a great uh, songwriter. You got 50 songs that you wrote? I've written about 50 so far. Now, after you quit drinking, tell us about that. Because I, I, <laughs> I haven't quit drinking yet. No, it's a we joke. We didn't talk about that. But it's a yeah, joke. I quit drinking. I, I drank a lot. I worked, you know, and afterwards I drank. When I played music, I drank. I quit three years ago, August 29th. I'm done. All right. Now this guitar ain't the same guitar you started out with, and we have something in common. Tell them about your first guitar. Okay, my first guitar was an airline guitar made by Montgomery Wards. It had a 2 by 4 neck, it had a painted pit guard, and um, my brother had an electric guitar. He's a little older than I was, so my dad said, well, if you learn how to play this one, we'll get you another one. So I want an electric guitar and play with my brother. He showed me some stuff on the guitar. We, he was louder than I was, so I had, uh, my dad got a, what, they didn't have, they had rummage sales in, not yard sales. He got a rummage sale microphone, we put a sponge around it, took the strings off my old guitar, put it inside so it went right around and duct taped the cord out of the way, and that was my first electric guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. And what we have in common is I lost my father last year, and and he drove for 22 years for Montgomery Wards. And the first drum set I ever played in the basement when I was 14 years old, getting in the music business, but I think it was called a Slingerland or something, but it was sold by Montgomery Wards. And we, we kept him in business, me and you. We could have been in the monkey business. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> I'll do the jokes here today, if you know. Guys anyway. are always stealing my thunder here. All right, now, Sheila, I want you to come over here. We want to show this album to everybody. She's going to walk over on this side of here so we can get it on a camera shot. And this is your CD, and they, can they get this by calling that number we just gave them? Yes, they can. And it's, uh, is that all original? You got it upside down again, honey. You got to turn it over. There you go. That is so funny. There are five of my original songs on there. And one of my buddies wrote one song on there. Wow, so you got songwriting friends, and you're doing a great job writing songs. And that's how you get his CD, is the phone number we just showed you across the front of the stage. Thanks for coming to the to the show, and you got big hands, not little hands. We'll be back with the Shotgun Red Variety Show right after this. Hey, Dad, let's have a drink. Hey, everybody.